Good day, friends and business partners. This is your humble servant, Jeff. And today, I will take you through how to place a manual trade on the new FES International e-commerce platform. How to place a manual trade on the new FES International e-commerce platform. So you realize that on 2nd um, February 2021, FES International released their beta um, the version 1.0 um, website so we stopped using the beta version of the of the website now we are using the version 1.0 and with the introduction of the h5 system you realize that the interface on mobile phones that is the interface on mobile phone devices is now different from the interface on laptops and desktops so um, the website is now very mobile phone friendly and users who have already used the website will attest to this. They will testify to the fact that the website is now super fast and it is very easy to use. So um, assuming your trade has successfully ended, which is our, our main focus today, your trade has successfully ended and you are to place another manual trade. How would you go about it if you are to place another manual trade how would you go about it that is what I am about to teach you so just like we always do the first thing you need to do is to open your web browser you open your internet browser in our case we will be using the um, Google Chrome so you open your internet browser then you type the website address in the address bar. You type the website address in the address bar here. Please note that the website address is no longer fit .ltd. Um, with After the upgrade, the company changed the name to fesgl.com fesgl.com so that is the website address as you can see in the address bar here fesgl.com that is the website address of fes more so you type it in the address bar i will open this website address so this is the new interface new home page interface of the fes um, mobile phone website so with this new interface, all you need to do is to log in. How would you log in? You can see four buttons at the bottom here. You can see four buttons at the bottom here. We have home, we have sort, we have news, and then we have my. Click on my. Click on my. The one at the bottom right corner. Click on it. Once you click on it, they will give you a prompt that you are not logged in yet. Do you want to log in? Click on determine. Click on determine. So once you click on determine, this page will open. This page will open. Here the accent of the number. They say please enter number. Please. That is where you are supposed to enter your username. In our case, we will be using this username today, Tando. 98b that will be the username we will use for the trading then in this bar please enter your login password you are to enter your login password here you are to enter your login password here so once you enter your login password please check the small box here check the small box beside the please read and agree so you, i will check this box you will see that um, it has changed from white to blue then after that all you need to do is to click on log in you can see login successful this is a VIP one account a VIP one account you can see Emmanuel you can see Emmanuel and we have 105 total FES balance in this account Remember to place a manual trade, which we are about to do, you need a total of 81. You need a total of 81 
FES points. That is total of $81 to be able to place the trade. So what should we do now? Let's check to see if the trade has successfully ended. So to check, all we will, we will need to do is to come to order management here. You will come to order management. You will click on order management. And you can see sold here. So with the first order, you can see it has successfully been what? Sold. So um, we will need to place another order which we are about to do. So how should we do that? Now all we will need to do is to come back to the bottom here. That is the four icons we see here. The first one is home, second is sort, third is news, and then the, th the fourth one which we clicked on earlier is mine. Now we will go back and click on home. We will click on home here. So it will bring us back to the home page. Then we will now click on new retail. You know, we need to buy the retail item first. So we click, we will click on new retail here. The account is a VIP one account. So we will buy the VIP one package. I will click on the bracelets here. Then all I will need to do is to click on buy now. Click on buy now below. The buy now is the one bordered by the blue background. So I will click on buy now here. Then on this page, all I will need to do is to click on standard size. Click on standard size. The quantity remains one. The quantity remains one. And the address, the address is already there because he has already made it his default address. This is his default address. If your address is not there, all you need to do is to click on the small arrow here. That is the small arrow at the bottom right corner here. You click on it. Then you click on the small plus sign at the bottom here. You can see the plus sign, you click on it, that is the plus sign beside the ad consignee information. They will ask you of this. So assuming um, I am to enter a new address, let's assume my name is Kofi K. Kofi K, the contact address. Let's use this contact address. You can see this, the address. So um, in your case, you need to type it here. All you need to do after this is to click on confirm. You click on confirm. So you can see the address has been added successfully. Now, all you need to do is to click on the address. The address you see here, you click on it. It will send you back to this page. Then all you need to do now is to click on pay. Click on pay. But once your address is already here, you don't need to go through all these processes again. So we will click on pay. And then the payment method. We will need to check this small circle here. To indicate that we are using FES points to pay, to pay for the product. So we will click on that circle to check it. Then all I will need to do now is to enter the payment password enter the payment password so after i have entered the payment password i will now click on determine i will click on determine so you can see checkout success checkout success now all i will need to do is to click on back to home page back to home page so i have successfully bought the new retail item so i will need to click on back to home page here let me go and check whether the 45 dollars has successfully been deducted so i will click on my again at the bottom right corner so you can see the 45 dollars has been deducted i now have 60 dollars in my account i now have 60 dollars in my account so I am 
now supposed to buy the auction product the one i will authorize the company to sell for me so i will come back to the um, icons at the bottom here and click on home that is the first one at the um, left bottom corner so i will click on home again then now because i've already bought the new retail item i will need to go and buy the auction product that is what in other companies they call the wholesale product so i will buy the auction product i will click on auction you can see they have given me 60 percent discount on the first product i bought from the retail so the price which was initially 45 dollars is now what 18 dollars it's now 18 dollars the vip one product so i will now click on this one that is the vip one product then i will click on buy now buy now at the bottom i will click on buy now once i click on buy now all i will need to do is to click on standard size i will need to click on standard size here to change the borders to red then i will click on the plus sign here the plus sign here that is the quantity i will need to change the quantity to two so I will click on the plus sign. The address is already there. Then all I will need to do now is to click on pay. So as I clicked on the plus sign, you realize that the amount has changed to what? $36. That is $18 times 2, which is 36 So I will now click on pay. Once I click on pay, they will ask of the payment method. That is, I will be using my FES balance to pay this. So I will check the FES circle beside the fes i will check it then all i will need to do is to enter my security password that is my payment password so after after the entry you will need to click on determine you will need to click on determine at the bottom here click on determine so you can see check out success check out success Please, once you do this, you are not done. You have bought the auction product, all right. But remember, you have not yet authorized the company to sell your item for you. So your account down will not start. So all you need to do is to click on back to home page again. So you can see other payment is successful. That is, they have deducted the $36. We can go and check again. So I will click on back to home page and click on my. The my is at the right bottom corner. So I will click on my and you can see the um eight um sorry thirty six dollars have successfully been deducted. I'm now left with twenty four dollars in my account. I'm now left with twenty four dollars in my account. So when we come here, all you need to do is to click on order management again. Click on order management once you click on order management you can see there is consignment here highlighted in green there is consignment here highlighted in what green and the order here is what pending so all i will need to do to assign the company to sell my item for me is to click on this consignment so i will click on consignment once i click on consignment it means i have successfully authorize the company to sell my item for me i have successfully authorized the company to sell my item for me so you can see in custody in custody which means my item is in custody and the company will sell it for me within 10 days how do i check my countdown i will cover this in the next video so how do i check to see the remaining days left for my item to be to be sold you can see with the new interface if you are you are um, manual trading that is if you are trading manually it is kind of bit difficult to 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 see the countdown but let me tell you it is not difficult at all so uh, keep in touch don't forget to like this video don't forget to share it to your friends and your colleagues who may need it don't forget to comment if you have any question or if you have any contribution 
and don't forget to subscribe to this channel after subscribing you can click on the bell button in that case whenever a new video is posted on my channel you will be the first to be notified i will do a video on how to check the countdown when you are doing a manual trade so once again thank you very much leaders and business partners and have a very good business day i am jeff and i am off <laughs>